Hi, in this video we're going to solve this equation. We have the square root of the square root of 28x plus 8, and that's equal to the square root of 3x plus 2. So to solve this we have to get rid of all of the square roots. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down one more time. So we have the square root of the square root of 28x and then plus 8 and that's equal to the square root of 3x plus 2. And so step one is to get rid of the square roots. So we'll square both sides to do that, just like this. And then on the left-hand side, we're left with the square root of 28x plus 8. And then over here, we just have 3x plus 2. Okay, so now we have to get rid of the square root again because we still have one here. So we square both sides again, like this, and then we're left with 28x plus 8 equals. And now for this part here, I'm going to use a formula that I always use. Um, you could multiply it out uh, the long way by writing it twice and distributing or using FOIL. Uh, the formula says if you have a plus b, and that whole thing is squared. I always think of A as the first thing and B as the second thing, or first term and second term. So you square the first one plus, and then 2AB plus, and then you square the last one. So you square the first one, so it'll be 3x quantity squared, so that's 9x squared. And then you multiply these two together, and then you double it, so times 2, so 2AB. So 2 times 3x is 6x times 2 is 12x. Okay, so you're doubling it. So it's 6x times 2, 12x. And then you square the 2, so that's 4. All right, this is getting pretty uh, nasty. So let's go ahead and set it equal to 0 now and see what we can do. So I'm going to subtract 28x from both sides. And then we're also going to subtract 8 from both sides. And then I'm going to write the result on the left-hand side. So 9x squared, we have that. And 12x minus 28x is minus 16x. And then 4 minus 8 is minus 4, and that's equal to 0. So we could try to factor this, but I am not. I instead, uh, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So recall the quadratic formula says uh, when you have a quadratic equation, the solutions are given by x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and it's all being divided by 2 times a. In this case, our a is equal to 9, our b is equal to negative 16, and our c is equal to negative 4. So let's go ahead and plug everything into our equation and see what happens. So we have x equals, so b is negative 16, but it's already negative here, so it'll become a positive 16, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 16 squared is gonna become positive 256, minus 4, a is 9, and then c is negative 4. But always be really careful here. Um, this is where most people mess up because like if the C is negative notice that there's already a negative sign here So it's going to become positive there on the inside and then 2a so 2 times 9 which is just 18 So this is equal to 16 plus or minus the square root of 256 plus This is going to be uh, 36 4 times 9 is 36 times 4 uh, Which is 144 144 because it's um, 36 times 2 is 72, and then times 2 again uh, will give us 144. So 36, right, 4 times 9 is 36. 36 times 4 is 144 over, over 18. Let's keep going. Kind of a long problem. So the x equals 16 plus or minus. 256 plus 144 is going to give us 400. And this is all over 18. So it's equal to 16 plus or minus 
The square root of 400 is 20. And then it's over 18. So now we have two answers here. So let me just go ahead and write those down here. So let's see what we have. Uh, maybe I'll do it down here. Let's do the plus and then we'll do the minus. So x equals 16 plus 20 over 18. 16 plus 20 is 36, so we get 36 over 18, so that's equal to 2. That should be one of the answers. We are going to check it in this video. And then x equals 16 minus 20 over 18, so that's going to be negative 4 over 18. So we get a fraction, so we get negative 2 over 9. And again, we're going to go ahead and check these answers uh, in this video right now. So to check the answers, what you want to do is you want to go back to the original equation. So uh, I guess I'll write it uh, right here. Let me switch colors. So the original equation uh, was kind of a little bit weird looking. It was the square root of the square root of 28x plus plus 8. And that's equal to the square root of 3x plus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our answers. Let's start by checking, use a different color. Let's check two. So check two, let's check two. So to check two, uh, we just plug in two everywhere there's an X and then hopefully we end up with the same thing on both sides. So putting a two here, we get 28 times two, so we get 56, 56 plus eight. And then over here we get Three times two is six, so we get six plus two. 56 plus eight is 64, so we get the square root of the square root of 64. And over here we have the square root of eight, because six plus two is eight. The square root of 64 is eight, so we get the square root of eight equals the square root of eight. Boom, two is a correct answer. I did that quickly, uh, no one likes checking, <laughs> including myself, but it's, it's worth knowing how to do it. You know, you never know, right, when you want to check your answer. And now we're actually going to check the fraction. That's going to be interesting. So let's check negative two-ninths, which is also uh, an answer. It should be a solution. So we have the square root of, the square root of. So 28 times negative two-ninths, whatever that number may be, plus 8. And that should be equal to the square root of 3 times negative 2 ninths plus 2. Right, that should be equal to that. So let's do this math very carefully here. Square root of, square root of, so 28 times 2 is 56, so we get negative 56 over 9 plus 8. Then over here we have 3 times negative 2 is going to be negative 6 over 9 plus uh, plus 2. Let's keep going. So this is the square root of, the square root of. We need to be able to add these fractions. So what we're, we're going to do here is we're going to take this 8 and multiply it by 9 over 9. It's really 8 over 1, so we want a common denominator so we can add. So you have negative 56 over 9, and then plus 8 times 9 is 72 over 9. Then over here we have negative 6 over 9. And then this one we can multiply by 9 over 9 is again. So it'll be plus 18 over 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Getting there. So this is the square root of, the square root of, negative 56 plus um, 72 is 16. So we have 16 over 9. And then here we have uh, negative 6 plus 18 is uh, 12, we have 12 over 9, okay, 12 over 9. So you wonder, like, is this, <laughs> is this equation true? Well, it, it should be, let's see. The square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 9 is 3, so we get the square root of 4 thirds. And then over here, um, 12 over 9, well, that reduces, right? 3 goes into 12 4 times, and 3 goes into 9 3 times, so we get 4 thirds. So indeed, it is an answer, a negative 2 ninths, is actually a solution so it does check so our original two answers uh, 2 and negative 2 ninths they actually were solutions to this equation so hopefully this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to uh, learn some mathematics
Good luck.